unless something inexplicable happens with Poland up against the Czech Republic, I think Australia need a maximum score. Yeah, uh, so I just can't see Poland not getting an advantage against the Czech Republic. You've got to say Bednar, if he can jump off the start, uh, almost certainly will stay ahead, but uh, I just can't see... Well, they they one and three three as well. yeah. and, uh, that really has fallen quite kindly for them. They had a bit of good fortune with that Hellstrom Bangs situation earlier on, but uh, they took full advantage of it. Sometimes that happens, and you've got to be there ready to pounce, and they certainly were. You can't win 16 times just being lucky, can you? You've got to be quite good at something. No, point. I think that suggests that uh, you've got <laughs> something about you. Indeed. Heat number 25, Australia up against Team Great Britain. Medals still on the line, Australia and Great Britain sit, sitting in second and third. Here we go. Away we go. Great Britain have made it. They hit the front. Fantastic stuff from uh, Sam Hagen. Round the outside. Leon Fleet coming through in the second place. This is, could be quite a turn up here. Keenan Roo has been unbeaten. Keenan Roo now coming, charging up the inside. Can he get there? He's got himself in the second place. James Pearson has done brilliantly well there. Young Sam Hagen out in front. What a moment this is for him down the back straight. Keenan Roo winding it on in second place. Yeah, Leon Flynn once again looking good. We'll see what Keenan Roo can do from the back, but this is two teams taking points off each other. Poland will be standing watching this race in the pitch, rubbing their hands together. This is the perfect result for Poland. Leon Flint, excuse me, it is Leon Flint out in front, riding superbly well for Team Great Britain. With the Australians coming through in second of place. Keenan Roo looks like he's going to be beaten for the first time tonight. But this is great news for Poland. Absolutely. Through the final corner, Team Great Britain. They're going to finish with four points out of that race, and they move on to 35. Will that be enough for a medal? We'll have to wait and see. Five points for Australia. They move on to 38. So they're leading the championship right now, but uh, they've done a race more than Poland. So Australia pick up five points there with Keenan Rue and James Pearson. Leon Flint smashing right out in front from him. He picks up the four points out in front, and Sam Hagen misses out in heat number 25. See it again. Keenan Rue beaten for the first time. Yeah, he just spins off the start from gate three there. Bike goes absolutely nowhere. And uh, Leon Flint gets the advantage around the first turn at this point. Of course, it's a maximum seven points for Team GB, but Sam Hagen just goes into turn three a little bit wide. You know, he's, he's doing the things that uh, are the right things to do, but he just doesn't seem to have the experience to uh, make it work properly. Here we can see it. Leon Flint goes into the corner in front. Now we're not going to see Sam Hagen's mistake, but uh, yeah, Keenan Rue made a good fist of it, drops his first point of the night, but these two teams taking points off each other. Indeed, so this position with uh, Australia on 38, 35 for Poland, 35 for Great Britain, but they've finished Australia and, po and Great Britain. Poland, Poland uh, with a six points in their last ride, get the feeling they can't be beaten, and we'll put them on 41. So, heat 26, we'll get to that in a minute. Germany up against uh, Denmark. Nagel and Pedersen for Denmark. Johnny Wienert for Germany and Norik Ledorn. He's had a great night for Ledorn. He goes from the outside in the yellow helmet colour. Wienert goes from gate number two in white. Pedersen comes out of gate number three in red. And Nagel will go from the inside in blue. Denmark have got some pride back in their performance tonight. They haven't had a great start, but they've ridden well in the last three races. Well, much, much better. And they'll be pleased with that. They'll just be wishing that they could have started a bit stronger. They would have been then charging for a medal tonight, I suggest. But it um, uh, hasn't quite clicked for them. Germany, well... Just not quite enough strength and depth, you would suggest, for them right now. They're on 25 points. And um, uh, Bladorn has pretty much carried the weight of the nation here tonight for Germany. So, for the final time, Denmark and Germany, their final ride tonight. 
Here we go, heat number 26, we're underway. The Dawn's made a lovely start there into the first corner. Vinat also coming through into second place. It's again tight down the back straight. Brilliant move there by Nagel. It's come through in a second place, but Bastian Pedersen also, wild wow, around the outside, does remarkably well to get himself up into third place. But Nagel's out in front, but again, Bladorn, no real surprise to see Bladorn out in front here for Germany. No, absolutely. Bladorn looking really good, comes off the outside gate, makes a good start. Nagel again with a decent ride. Pedersen there on turns three and four, opening lag, bit of a rodeo ride for him, but the race settling down now, it's advantage Denmark, and as you say, Kelvin, if we could have started the night a little bit better, they would be chasing a medal position. They would indeed, Denmark, if it stays like this, they're going to finish on 31 points. Germany, four points for them here, well, oh, that'll be 29. Reasonable nights. I think it could have been so much better for, for Denmark. Norit Bladorn finishes his night off individually in style. He's a fan favourite. He's quite a character, Norit Bladorn. And uh, he's settled very nicely. He enjoys very much riding for the Bellevue Aces. Um, but uh, the Danish team finishes well and they have moved into fifth place on 31 points. Five points for Denmark for Nagel and Pedersen. Four points for Germany with Norit Bladorn winning the race with uh, Vinat just missing out there in uh, heat 26. Two races to go and the very next race could see the world champions retain their title. Here we see it. Yeah, from the start, Norit Bladorn head down, gets himself to the corner really easily and uh, I've got to say, Venant there made a decent job, made a decent start, got himself around the inside, but there, just up the inside of him, is Nagel around the outside as Pedersen, bike reacts when it hits the dirt there, and uh, Pedersen getting himself into a little bit of a problem, but he soon got it back under control, race settles down, advantage Denmark, but um, I would say overall a slightly disappointing night from Denmark, expected a little bit more. Well, I know my mass is not very good, but I get a feeling... Poland, if they can move on to 40 points here, they can't be beaten. So they're going to need five, even maybe 39. Even 39, because Sweden, if they get seven points out of the last race, they can only move on to 38. And that will still mean that Poland are world champions. Yeah, a race win here would, uh, would do it. So four points here for Poland and they will retain the World Championship. Adam Bednar for the Czech Republic with Kamenek, Matthias Kamenek, Bartosz Bamba and Viktor Proszemski for Poland. Are they going to do it? I think they will. I think they've got every chance. Proszemski's on the inside in red. Gate number three in blue is Bamba, Bartosz Bamba. And then we've got gate number two in yellow is uh, Kamenek. And on off the outside is Bubba Bednar. Difficult to sum it all up tonight. Poland started solidly, but I think that's the difference. They haven't had any last places, have they? No. That really has no, been they've significant. Had, they've had one. Sorry, yeah, excuse me. It's been a lot of races. Um, but um, <laughs> no, they, they, they've only had one, but they had two five-point hauls and three sevens, and that really has been significant. Four points here, and they're going to be world champions again. Here we go, then. Heat number 27. Big, big race for Poland. Race the run, run the wide. Bubba Bender's made a lovely start. We hit that first corner. Brzezemski's through there in second place. Here comes Bamba through into third. That's all they need to do. They need to do anything too spectacular. Bubba Bender out wide. Brzezemski's coming on strong in second place. Will he get up the inside? No, not quite. It's gone very wide there, Bedner. That's allowed Przemski literally just to cruise around the inside. Bedner's responded, trying to get back to the front, and he has done so. But five points will be enough. Now, Przemski doesn't want to take any chances. He really wants to hit the front to ensure the four points in the bag in case there's a problem for uh, Bamba behind. But he's hit the front. It looks good. This is going to take Poland to the title once again, title number 17. Brzezemski's ridden steadily there, got the better of Bubba Begna, Bamba back in third place, six points on the cards here for the world champions, through the final turn in heat number 27, and Poland, Speedway of Nature!
Nations two champions again in 2024. Job done for Poland. 17 titles at under 21 level now since 2005. Remarkable record. Many congratulations to them. When they needed to, they produced the goods. That's what they do. Fantastic stuff from them. It wasn't spectacular, no. but, um, but it was good. And that's, that's exactly what they do. Business-like performance from Poland tonight, but that's what they needed. Result, 6-3 in Heat 27. Six points to Poland. Three to the Czech Republic. And Poland are under-21 world champions once again. They keep showing their senior counterparts exactly how it's done. Yeah, absolutely. Fair, fair, a very good point. Senior level, they haven't done it at Speedway of Nations. But here, Speedway of Nations 2, they won it fine style last year in Riga. Battled it out with Denmark. But over 27 races so far. We've got one more race to come. But uh, they are world champions once again for the Speedway of Nations. Fair play to them. They're a winning machine. And Rafael de Brocchi down there, the uh, team manager, carries a lot of pressure, Rafael de Brocchi. That is a position that carries a lot of responsibility. He's had a great run. It was tight last year, of course, at the Speedway World Cup. They just stole it in the last race. But this is where they sealed the deal tonight, Chris. Yeah, it is. Bedman makes a great start from the outside. Hits the front there once again. Brzezinski hits that rut. Gets it back under control in second place. At this point, we, we were sort of saying, look, it's all you've got to do. You know, five points is more than enough to uh, take this. But I think Brzezinski just realised that they're a little bit vulnerable at that point. And if he can hit the front, it doesn't matter what happens to Bamba behind him because four points is going to be enough. So... Uh, managed to make that move up the inside and safe place to do it he wasn't really taking any risks we've we've been hard on one or two teams and one or two riders in the past where they've taken a risk when they didn't need to but uh, that wasn't a risky move but it just secured and made sure that poland were going to be champions once again the poland are the champions australia at the moment are in second place with great britain in third we've got one more race to come and sweden are just outside the medals right now on 31 well, I'll tell you what now, if they could pick up seven points, they'll finish on 38. And then it'll be potentially a race-off or count-back for the silver and bronze. They could well leapfrog Great Britain and deny Great Britain at home a medal here tonight. Five points, and they will be in front of Great Britain. Well, in that situation, it will be a countback, and Sweden beat Australia when they met. Massive moment for Sweden here. Can they do it? They're in fourth place right now, but they've got a race in hand. This is the final race of the evening, 28. Heat 28, with Hellstrom Banks and Casper uh, Henriksen for Sweden. Looks like to me that Henriksen's going off the inside in blue. Gate number three in red is Philip Hellstrom Banks. In the white helmet colour, we've got Nikita Cowlitz for Latvia, and off the outside is Artem Juno for Latvia. Got to be a chance of seven points here, you would think, for Sweden. Latvia have had a tough time tonight. They're only on 15 points in total. Seven points here. They leapfrog and they join Australia on 38. But as you rightly say, Sweden beat Australia. They've got the upper hand. And it could well be a silver medal. They've got a silver medal within touching distance here, Sweden. So drama right to the conclusion here tonight in the National Speedway Stadium in Manchester. Good crowd in. They've been patient. Fair play to them. Here we go. Final time of the night. Takes her up. Away we go. Into the first corner. Great start from the outside from Juno, you know, from Artem Juno. You know, that's a great move from him. Coming up the inside is Henriksen. Gonna say, can Philip Hellstrom Banks do anything about it now? These two, they want a silver hand. Henriksen's done lovely there to get up the inside. This is tight. After the look, look at Hellstrom Banks. What a move around the outside. Yeah, that could have gone horribly wrong. He knew he'd got to use the dirt, even going into the corner. Uncomfortable position to be in with, with Henriksen working the inside so well all night long. This is the exact result that Sweden need. With this result, they will take a silver medal. What 
a moment that was. Henriksen rode nicely up the inside. Could have been a bit more, you know. An exclusion between Poland and Sweden earlier on. We said it might have been a defining moment. It looks like it very much could have been. When you reflect on the evening now, Hellstrom bangs and Henriksen down the back straight for the final time this evening. This is going to be a maximum score. They're going to move on to 38 points. They know. They know they've done it. And it looks like it's going to be a silver medal for Sweden here tonight. Tough on Australia. Australia are going to get bronze. Great Britain miss out on the medals tonight. They just have an injury. Seven points for Philip Helston Banks and Casper Henriksen. Two points for Latvia there with Arten, you know. But Sweden, they look pretty pleased with silver medal, but they may just reflect on that exclusion earlier on and think, well, it could have been gold. Yeah, when you consider in Voyens, they actually lost their place in Speedway of Nations for last year when they finished in last place. So uh, it's quite a comeback for them. When they met earlier on, Sweden got the better of Australia. That uh, is the reason why Sweden have been given the second place. James Pearson seems pretty pleased with his performance tonight. France in the medal, it's good news. Great Britain will be gutted. But Dan Thompson, that heavy fall cost them. Sam Hagen did his very best, of course he did, but yeah. uh, not uh, as experienced as Dan Thompson. Leon Flint has certainly ridden very well for the team Great Britain. See number heat number 28 once again. This was quite an exciting race. Well, it had Philip Hellstrom bangs in it, it had to be exciting. It's always exciting with Philip Hellstrom bangs around, but. Uh, yeah, this look, this is a great ride from the Swedes. Casper uh, Henriksen, look, looking across, where's my teammate? What can I do? Can I help him? Helston Banks doesn't need any help. He just puts the back wheel in the dirt and, uh, well, he gets around there pretty quick. He's like he's on a tram line. It's a great ride from Helston Banks. It's been exciting all night. Got to feel sorry for him. That exclusion could well have cost Sweden the gold medal here tonight. They would have kept the pressure on Poland and that could make all the difference. But uh, a great comeback for them. They lost their Speedway of Nations place in Voyens in 22, didn't compete in 23. Come back with a silver medal. So, rightly so. Seeing Sweden won and there we go. Third place on the night. coming round now. Team Australia there. Richly deserved round of applause for all the competitors. It's, uh, it's been a terrific uh, night, really, when you consider how difficult the conditions were. Nasty looking crash with the Czech Republic earlier on tonight, but fortunately, it does appear that riders have survived. Bubba Bedner continued on. Um, uh, Janasek looks like he might have injured himself, but we do hope he's okay. And Dan Thompson as well. We put, uh, we do hope that he's okay because he wasn't able to take his remaining rides. Incredible night, really. Longest night of uh, 28 races. I don't remember doing that before. And that's a fact. I know it's never happened before. Yeah, all of these riders have put on a great show. They've ridden very well. We haven't seen too many crashes, unfortunately. We did see that one big one for the Czech Republic, the two lads, but uh, no, it's, uh, it's been a great night of Speedway. Difficult conditions early on, but once again, track's held up very, very well. Congratulations to everybody involved. Poland, boys just doing a bit of a burn out there. And, uh, gold medal, 17 times they've won the championship now. As I say, Victor Pashemski leading the SGP2 individual world championship at under 21 level as well. They had a 1-2-3 in the first round. And for Krasemski, that's three straight gold medals at this uh, under-21 level.